Okay, here we show the bench press in a flat position. Uh, you've got adjustments right here and adjustments up front. Let's say you wanted to adjust the seat pad for leg lifts. You can bring the seat pad up to different heights, find the right adjustment. Also, you can bring it up if you're doing a decline so your body kind of stays straight at a decline position. And some people during the incline like to raise the seat part just for more support from your body not sliding off. So let's focus on this for a second. You have nine different positions. Just take the popper pin here, pull it out into place, into place, and so forth. Again, as you go higher up, then you want the bench to go further under as far as your incline position. But you have nine different options for the seat pad. This is a thick three inch pad. It covers the range of your body as far as your torso. It's tapered around the shoulders, so as you bring the bar back, you have a little more free range of motion by your shoulder blades coming back in. And the width here, of course, that keeps you kind of secure as far as the balance on the bench itself. So this is the, the pad that adjusts for the incline and the decline, as well as just the plain bench. Okay, the main seat pad has a lot happening here. And based on the location and the camera angle, I can't get really in front of it to show you, but I'll do the best I can. The bench itself has nine different positions as far as a cool feature here is you have a kind of a pivot point right down in here. Sometimes when you go into an incline position on traditional benches, as you raise the bench pad, your torso is going more forward, which does not bring you under the bar the way it should as far as having the bar in the position and your body in the position for the correct incline. So what this does, right now it's in the traditional bench press position. If I wanted to do inclines, of course I'd raise the bar first, but I would bring this bench back toward me by using this popper pin right here. I would bring the bench back. That brings me further <clears throat> under the bar as I bring the, the pad up a little bit for inclines. I'm still under the bar itself as far as doing the workout. So incline position, bring it back. Regular standard position, I'd bring it forward. And that's what we call the pivot process on the BF-52. Okay, as far as the front part of the bench where your, your, uh, your feet go, there's an accessory adapter that comes with the BF-52. It's a two inch by two inch square tubing, which means the mouth is a little bit smaller. So the accessories need to be a little bit smaller in a one and three quarters by one and three quarters as far as the square tubing. And the holes for adjustment need to be on the back side since that's where the popper pin is. So here's the example of the, uh, the preacher curl. It's locked into place. You'd pull the pin out right here, pull it out. Again, I have the holes on both front and back based how the accessory unit is set up for the uh, adapters. Now the holes on the inside to leave clearance for the leg lift when the, the weights come back as far as the bar, not to have a, a pin in the way. So we have the leg lift over here, a preach curl here. You can also accessorize a lat pole, but again, just make sure the tubing is one and three quarters by one and three quarters, and the adjustment pin or the holes on the shaft are on the inside, so the pin will lock it in place. And this is the leg lift accessory section for the BF-52. Hey, on the back side here, the part that holds the actual weights, you've got two pieces of metal uh, welded together. Think of two uh, J's back to back. Uh, the front side is more for this side of the bench to hold it for the bench press and the incline. Drop it down low. If your reach is long enough to use it for decline, that's great. If not, you have uh, two supports on both sides here for decline. But try and use the main one up here for your bench press functions and use this uh, one at the bottom, kind of a safety to get out in case you can't get that rep all the way back up. Now here's the cool feature. On the back side, you have another, we call it a J support. So if you raise these up, shoulder height, bring the bar on the back side, you can step in, get the bar up on your shoulders, do squats, and then bring it back. So you have access from the back side as well as the front side, and that should, that should cover uh, your reach as far as uh, bench press, incline, decline, or standard bench press. So this is the back side here that holds the weights. You know, we didn't talk much about it, but the, the bench itself has five different positions that touch the ground. You've got two foot pads on each side, left to right, and then a front foot pad up front as far as the, the support. So basically, you've got a good foundation here to work from, and plus the rubber caps protect not only the floor, but also protects the frame itself. So you've got a well-stable base here as far as loading up with some heavy weights on the BF-52.